Hello and welcome to HPM's Crypto Corner for Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. We have several things to talk about, so let's get started. Has Nessie been spotted again, this time on St. Patrick's Day? Let's check out the video. Apparently the supposed creature is supposed to be right here. I don't know what to make of that. Wait, is that supposed to be it right there? Could it be just waves? That's always entirely possible. The video is five minutes long. I'm not going to play the whole thing. Just giving you a general idea of what the video shows. But does it show Nessie? That's a good question. We may never know the answer. Sasquatch and Bigfoot are in the public domain, so they can be used for all kinds of advertisements, including advertising a po political campaign, a city council position. A guy named Bill Lyle in Plano, Texas. Placed 33 seven foot tall Sasquatch cutouts through pla throughout Plano with Bill Lyle for seven painted on the beast's body. Seems like it's been a success. But of course, individuals are stealing some of the cutouts unfortunately there's some sticky fingered individuals out there so be careful recently basement of the bazaar paid a visit to the international cryptozoology museum it was their second such visit Here's some photos. Hmm. 
One day I hope to see the museum myself. Whenever all this craziness settles down. Hopefully soon. Finally, researchers may have found true identity of ancient hobbit species. Anthropologists know of at least two ancient species of tiny humans that lived on the islands of Southeast Asia over 50,000 years ago. The origin of these extinct humans is unknown, but new research suggests they are more closely related to Denisovans and Neanderthals, and by consequence, modern humans than previously thought. Now, new research published has not found any evidence of interbreeding between modern humans and Homo floresiensis and Homo luzonensis. But there may have been interbreeding between Denisovans and modern humans. And the Nisivans are a sister group of Neanderthals. Homo floresiensis or Homo luzonensis may actually be the elusive southern Denisovans. So interesting stuff going on here. Very interesting. And that's going to do it for this week. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. You guys are the heart of the show. I always say that, but I always mean it. And I'll continue to do this as long as you guys want me to. And hey, until next week, y'all be good or be good at it. This is Mitch Me on Scripto Corner. <laughs>